Hi, this video will be looking at adding breakdowns to your animation. Now the keyframes that we set here for the beginning and the end are mostly structural. They say where we start and where we end up. The breakdown frames are the frames of animation in between your keyframe that establish your path of action and give your animation character and context. So for example, from the hand starting down here, if the person is really angry and serious, maybe he just rears his hand back and then points quickly. Or if, if the person is really theatrical, maybe he raises his hand with a little flourish and he wiggles his finger around and then loops it forward really elegantly. Or if the person is really old and feeble, he might have trouble like, raising his hand and the action is slow and jittery when he raises his hand to this position. So we're going to move the last keyframe right here to frame 8. Set a new keyframe in frame 2. Right click, insert keyframe. And let's set our first breakdown. Select the transform tool in the tools toolbar. And let's see what we can do. Right now I have the entire arm selected because I'm on the upper arm master peg. But if I want to shift down to the low, just the lower arm peg, I can do that by holding down shift and clicking B at the same time. I'm going to rotate this down. And shift B once again. One more time. Or right, let's just click the hand. Let's do our next breakdown here in frame three. Right click, insert keyframe. Let's add another keyframe. Add another breakdown. So actually, let's move this keyframe right here. What I'm going to do is copy this keyframe by going edit, copy cells from timeline, paste cells in timeline. Because frame 7 is going to be our last keyframe in frame 6, I'm going to do a slight overshoot, just, just tiny, just like so. So if you take a look at what we have, Click on the first frame. We have our first keyframe breakdown for the arm breaking, creating this nice sweeping motion. Bends up, pointing up before starting to point at someone else. A little slight overshoot and settle. 